So here's another really cool Hootsuite feature. And what this lets you do is it lets you export your scheduled content. And we're talking about content that you've scheduled through Hootsuite for the past three months to any channel. You can pretty much go into Hootsuite, retrieve that content, download it on a spreadsheet, and pretty much post it again, which I just think is phenomenal. And not just scheduled content that you've uh, scheduled for the past, but scheduled content that's for the future. And so that means you can have somebody create a, a, a content for you through Hootsuite and then pretty much download it and reuse it again. And I'll just show you how here real quick. And of course, you go into your Hootsuite dashboard and under your publisher tab here, you have your publisher, your planner, your content and promote. And of course, you're going to go under content because we're dealing with content here. And on the left here, you have draft scheduled, past scheduled, require approval, expired, rejected. We're going to pass scheduled. So I just want to make sure you see all this over here. And for us, what we want to do is go to uh filter our content over here as you can see through that arrow you filter what channel you want and over here we have filtered bizcrow media for the past three months which is just phenomenal and as you can see that's all of it right there and what's so cool is you can just select exactly what you want so if there's some content here that is just not everlasting content that you want to post again you don't need to check it but if you just want to, you could just do that. And if you want to filter it out later, you click it and it lists everything that you want. And if you just want to exclude again, you can exclude by doing that. But in this instance, we want to download all that content. And again, this is absolutely cool. So now we have selected and we will export. And these are all the formats you can export to. Now, keep in mind, again, these are formats that um you can use again in hootsuite so automatically you could just go in which is so cool automatically you could just go in and then download this content and upload it again using the bulk composer over here through hootsuite and there's another video um about that on this channel so if you're looking to uh know how you can bulk upload a lot of posts by using a downloaded spreadsheet just to make life easier you can uh, view that video. So here we go. We are going to download it right here. And we like to use the month, month, day, day, year, 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 year format. And um, let's see what happens there. And then it downloads. So here we go. Let's see the outcome as it loads up. Wow. And so here we have it. We have all the content. We have the, the, the start time, the end dates, the end time, the description of the content, again, all just listed on the spreadsheet, which we can automatically just go back to Hootsuite, um, use the ball composer and upload it again. So I thought this was just information that I had to share because it makes life easier for all, um, our friends out there that use Hootsuite and use um, other tools like Facebook too that let you do that. You can absolutely download your past uh, data too on Facebook. Uh, different, totally different format though. But in this instance, what's so cool with Hootsuite is you can download it in the format Hootsuite wants you or requires you to upload it again uh, under your bulk composer. So happy posting, good luck.